Before we actually get into today's video, I do want to give a special shout out to everyone's names right over here for purchasing merch since the last video. These guys are also entered for the giveaway that ends in this video technically because it ends in two days. I'm not going to have a video in two days. So this is the last video. If you guys want to enter the Milwaukee giveaway, there's a few other things I'm giving away as well. Everyone over here got their names shouted out. They're going to be featured on the YouTube plaque and they're entered for the giveaway. So, so it's some pretty exciting stuff just to support the channel. So if you guys want to be the final one of those, make sure to check out that first link down below. What's up guys? Welcome back to show. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we we have the E90 M3 kind of chilling like a villain. And we also have the E91 M3 chilling back there as well. Um, long story short, we want to put everything that's on this car onto the E91. We already took off the supercharger, which we'll be putting onto the E91 down the road. Once we get everything like small compliant and everything, so we can get that bar sticker on there. I'll show you guys all that down the road. But as for now, this car does have some brand new tires on it. Some Michelin tires, got some Apex wheels on there, which I really, really, really want as well. And then also has some KW suspension on here. Not exactly sure what KW suspension, but I know KW are very expensive and I might as well put that on the E91 for now and if you end up wanting to swap it out later um, that set will be worth way more than the stock suspension so all that being said let's go ahead and actually jack this car up remove the suspension and start swapping out every corner one by one and just getting that stuff done So we're gonna actually swap out the front rotors and the actual front suspension on both cars just because uh, the rotors on the E90 M3 have, like they honestly have a lot more life in them. But I mean, not, not a crazy amount of life on, but this one has a little bit of a lip on there. And again, we're just taking everything that's better on this car, put it on this car. These are perfectly fine. I just prefer the best of the best on the E91 M3. Also, if you guys look at this one right over here, again, this is the rotor. It looks super good. Very smooth over here as well. Um, the KW suspension looks super good as well. I don't know if these are adjustable. Um, we're gonna take them out and check, but but I love how it's the full thing. I thought it's actually KW Springs, um, but it's actually KW Coilover, so super happy about that. They're circling. You mean something? Guys, we're out, here, we're out here trying to get some work done, and there's just a helicopter, police helicopter, a bunch of sirens going over there. Is that him? No, no. <laughs> I was still right there. Bro, what's going on? They're literally right there. You know that, right? Like, they're watching these houses here. Like, you see the cops? Up. I don't see the cops. Though. Imagine he just comes out right now. You see like 10 police cars. <laughs> Bro, that'd be crazy. All right, guys. I don't know exactly what happened. Just kind of disappeared. <laughs> but anyways, um, so this is the shock right over here. I went ahead and actually loaded up the spring to pretty much like, I would say that's like 40, 60. Um, I think that's a good amount of threads right over here. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. I think that's enough tension to where the car, I mean, it's still gonna sit lower, at least another inch lower, which is nicer. Um, but at the same time, it's gonna ride more comfortably. This was completely loose, and that's where the front steering was completely loose. Um, so that is actually fixing this car, but at the same time, putting it back to stock, and it's actually gonna be fixing this, and uh, definitely gonna help stiffen up the suspension. So anyways, Erlan's gonna go ahead and install the KW onto the E91 M3. I'm gonna go install the stock one back onto this, and then uh, we'll go ahead and move the rotors. I actually just realized too, this sway bar end link i don't know it might be different so actually this is a really good sway bar end link so i think i might actually take that too that is a stiff one so we're taking that off as well
All right, guys, this side is completely replaced. We got the rotor on here. We got the uh, the brake pads on here. We got the shock replaced as well. And I actually put some brand new sway bar end links because the sway bar end links on this one uh, were not looking so well. So uh, at the same time, putting this thing back to stock, we did actually upgrade something on this one. And then uh, the, these brakes are perfectly fine. They're just a little bit more worn. When I say a little bit more worn, I mean, a, not a lot more worn. Definitely has some life in these. But uh, you guys know we had to put the better ones on the E91 M3. So everything's pretty much sorted on this. I was going to put the Apex wheels back on here and then probably put them back on this one another day but honestly let's just put the apexes on the car bro <laughs> so we're gonna put these apexes with the michelins on this bad boy right over here and uh guys just check that out our lawn really went above and beyond and he actually cleaned the kw as well so that looks super clean he even used this bad boy on the rotor he actually just had this in his car <laughs> So that worked out perfectly. So now all this is looking beautiful. We actually put in the, the wheel liner as well. So we're also getting that stuff done. And uh, bottom of a bang, let's go ahead and slap a wheel on here and see how it looks with the brand new Apex Michelin KW and rotor. That's, that, that's a huge upgrade in one video. We finally have brand new for this car, KW front suspension, Apex front wheels, Michelin tires, drill slotted almost brand new rotors and new pads. We literally probably did an upgrade to the front end of this car in this one video. If you think about the Michelin tires for all four, which we're eventually gonna end up doing, if you think about the rotors for all four, the KWs for all four, and the, the, the wheels itself for all four, guys, I think we're out like, if you do the math, $1,200 for the KWs, two grand for the wheels, $1,400, for the front rotors and another hundred for the pads and uh i mean like even just the tires like let's say another like 1500 or something like that like guys it's about like five or six g's in just suspension upgrades we're doing this one video which i mean guys this e90 has been an absolute blessing i mean the fact that it's running and driving we got everything dialed in uh you guys can actually see we actually started replacing some parts on this car there's gonna be a video on that coming soon i'm gonna be trying to take it to an alignment hopefully tomorrow actually but yeah that car has been nothing but a blessing we got a supercharger off that we got the full suspension on this entire car off of that and they we're also selling that car um to help us get the all right so uh that car has been an absolute blessing god bless we end up picking this up for uh, such a good deal. But yeah, I'm super stoked that the front end is completely done on both sides. I mean, just check that out. And shout out to Alon for his attention to detail and getting everything cleaned up for me before actually installing. He cleaned up the KWs. He cleaned up the rotors. Um, the wheels itself has some curb rash on there. Um, it's got some chips on there. So I'm actually thinking about getting these wheels redone, powder coated in gloss black. I think they'll look a lot nicer in gloss black. You guys can even see the tire on here. It's pretty much brand new. No inner wear, no outer wear. These are perfect tires. Beautiful, beautiful beautiful michelins right here so super stoked about that we also got these bad boys installed like wow oh wow guys let's go ahead and start working on the rears unfortunately alon did have to leave uh, but at least we got the fronts done on this the fronts done on this let's go ahead and try to do the rears on both cars it's probably gonna be a long night doing it on my own but i think the rears should be a lot easier and i think we're actually keeping uh these rear rotors because there's actually nothing wrong with the rear yeah the pa the pads i say about have 50 percent life and the rotors are actually flush um you just need to drive on these so all this rust comes off uh so the rears i think i'm gonna keep it they're just the same in the rears on those but yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and drop the suspension on the wagon first <laughs>
All right, guys, so I'm not gonna lie. I've been working on this rear wheel for over three hours. It looks like the previous owner used a bunch of Loctite and it took me literally forever to try to get the new spring in there. And finally, guys, the spring is in there. I'm actually not gonna deal with that right now. I'm gonna get back to it in a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and do a factory flash for an E91 and see if all the E91 functions are gonna work because we still have a few E91 functions that don't work. And uh, actually, we have some LCI tail lights gonna pick it up as well for the LCI trunk. So we're gonna go ahead and repin the rear trunk wires and actually like kind of install these tail lights so we can actually do some testing and just make sure everything's working properly. So yeah, we have a few things we need to knock out right now uh, before I can actually continue working on that. So I went ahead and finished this on the new clock spring. So at this point, I'm actually gonna go ahead and repin the trunk and repin the tail light so we can actually put in the LCI light. And hours later, guys, finally did all four wheels, all four suspensions, and the two front rotors onto the E91 M3. And this one's officially, officially complete. This is actually ready for an alignment. I actually got the registration sorted. I'll show you guys everything else that was done to this car um, in a separate video because there's so many things that were done to this car to bring it to where it is, honestly, today. So video coming soon on that. But in the meantime, uh, Nick is actually starting the coating process on this E91 M3 wagon. Uh, in terms of the tail lights, I actually, these are right now my daytime running lights and then my reverse lights. So I actually pinned those in wrong, but the tail lights seem to be working really, really, really well. And honestly, these tail lights are mint condition, which I'm super happy about because I bought them used and I was kind of afraid if they were not in mint condition because um, I don't really want to replace them. They're just so expensive. Anyways, coating takes some time. So I'm probably going to try to do some of the suspension while the coating is getting done. But uh, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. And guys, about a few days later, I actually took this car out for my first drive and uh, we are back to actually working on the E91. I really want to complete the full suspension on the car, drop the car on the ground and just see how it looks. It's definitely not going to clear with these quarter panels because these are stock quarter panels and the wheels we got are meant for M3 fitment. So if we actually slap that on there, it's going to sit literally perfect and I want to see that, but it's not going to drive perfect un unless we want to damage those beautiful Michelin tires, which uh, we definitely don't want to do because I mean, just look how beautiful they look. On another note too, unfortunately the clock spring we installed into the car was no good so we ended up picking up another clock screen for this car and then uh, it turns out this one's just as bad because i tried turning this thing and i turned it 20 times and there was no resistance which means uh the clock spring is bad once again because i know this clock spring is actually good i'm actually just gonna go ahead and remove the clock spring and just swap out that section the reason why we need this one to work is i don't know if you guys can see from here and here they look exactly the same but the only difference is if you flip it over here you can only see that there's a front windshield and if you flip this one there's a rear windshield as well now there is possible that I can literally just disconnect this back piece right here and connect it right over here. But there also could be a pinout difference and I don't really want to deal with that. So I think I could just remove the clock springs and just swap them out. And I think everything will be gravy in the Navy. And we actually ended up picking up this from BMA European as well. This is in really good condition compared to the one uh, that was originally on the E90 donor car. Uh, we took it off, we put it on this one. And now this one, we could actually go ahead and complete this little section right over here. It's all about the details guys and we need every piece. And just like that guys, you finally got that in there. And as you guys can see, I actually put the stock intake in there too because honestly we need to get this thing smogged and there's a little more clearance on the stock intake compared to the AFE one. The AFE one I actually slapped into the flip E90 right over here. As you guys can see there's literally no clearance. I had to pretty much remove everything just to get this in here and I actually replaced the intake onto this car. This car we smogged it already and this car once we actually get everything legal on it um we got a supercharger right back there so <laughs> we're not going to be needing that intake whatsoever. So without further ado let's just go ahead and swap out those clock springs. Now the best way to test out this clock spring works super easy without actually having to move the car is by simply just clicking on the horn. If the horn works with the key of the ignition, um, the clock spring works. So yeah, these are the dials we need for the rear windshield wipers. Let's hope to God the horn actually works with this new clock spring. Not really new, but new to us, which is good enough. <laughs> All right, so keyless entry. That is still working, which I'm super happy. That's, a th that's something we actually got retrofitted in a moment of truth. 
that's what I'm talking about. So yes, guys, the new clock spring is good to go. And uh, once you actually get the seats in here, pretty much we should have no more airbag faults, which should be super nice. Uh, but anyways, now that that's working, will this work? Does this have anything to do with it, question mark? So unfortunately, I still don't know why the rear windshield wiper is not working. That rear little switch button for the rear glass is still not working. So we still have to figure that out. But as for now, at least we got something fixed right here. So moment of truth, guys. Finally, finally, finally. I finally just want to see this car with all four wheels, all four KWs. And guys, oh my God, these tires are brand new. Look how beautiful these Michelins are. I've actually never seen Michelin tires with like this beautiful, like a big Michelin name on it. I've had Michelins like this, which looks pretty awesome. I do like Michelin tires. They look super nice. But I mean, man, oh man, dude, those look good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm just a sucker for labeling on the side of the tires. That looks absolutely amazing. Thank the Lord. They pretty much have brand new tread on here. If we're going to be doing any burnouts on this wagon, I'm definitely going to have to try to get some burners because these are not my burners. I absolutely love these wheels. I do think I'm going to get them done in gloss black. And eventually, honestly, I'm going to upgrade this set because I've always wanted like HREs or something like that. Maybe even uh, some BBSs. So that's something I definitely want to do for this car. Um, but as for now, these Apexes are amazing. They're beautiful. And not to mention, we got it for a spoken good deal. I mean, like pretty much a <laughs> little to nothing. So I'm super happy with these so we're definitely gonna probably get them gloss black paint mesh for now but before we actually install these wheels obviously we are missing the springs and the struts so here it is right over here i looked these up they're k1s um these run for about 1800 so yeah that is definitely an upgrade for us all this stuff is looking really 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 dirty so the first thing i'm gonna go ahead and do is just get them all cleaned up with some purple power so three two one And guys, after getting these springs pretty much cleaned up, those look a lot better. Unfortunately for these, they have a lot of overspray because of the calipers and also some of the springs actually have some overspray because of the calipers. It looks like when they actually sprayed the calipers, which they don't look that bad, I kind of like the blue. It's not too shabby, but when they sprayed it, they didn't really cover up any things in the background. So there's a lot of things behind it that got kind of a little bit of overspray on it, including these coilovers, which is kind of unfortunate, but not a huge deal. But at this point, guys, I'm just super stuck because I want to get this stuff installed. So let's just go ahead and start installing this set. I was actually going to install these wheel guards too, but I'm I'm actually not going to do that because it's going to be easier just to take off the wheel and then work on the quarter panel rather than taking off the wheel and taking off the wheel guard and then putting back the wheel guard and putting back the wheel. So I'm actually going to keep these wheel guards off for some more time. We got everything mounted up, so I'm not really too worried about it. But anyways, let's just go ahead and just try to get this coilover set in here. I'm actually going to max out the height on both sides so it doesn't rub whatsoever with the quarter panel. It's unfortunate because I do want to slam it, but at the same time, if we can max it out, it is going to allow us to move this car and that's what we need to do right now. video and my oh my guys the e91 is truly coming together i'm literally putting wheels and tires and suspension and brakes and all that good stuff before we even have the car um literally running and driving which is kind of crazy but i am super happy with these upgrades and the cars are looking so 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 much better the next thing i want to get done is pretty much the exhaust system and probably even get it welded up at the shop and get everything sorted on the exhaust because once we actually do that then technically the car is a running drive we need to put in the front driver's seat we need to put everything um for the driver oriented section installed into the car i think it's gonna be the next video so we're gonna try to assemble as much things as possible on this car to get it running and driving hopefully in the next video and that's also assuming they'll be able to actually run the car with the two rear m3 wheels we might actually have to go buy uh just a random set of burners in the rear um so we can actually drive the car because those m3 wheels i just don't think is gonna clear even with the coilovers like maxed out i just don't think it's gonna clear if you guys are enjoying the progress on the e91 m3 make sure to smash the like button and do not forget guys to enter the giveaway the giveaway is literally this last video if you guys want to enter for the Milwaukee giveaway for all these other things that I'm giving away for this month for the holidays, make sure to check out that first link down below by supporting the channel. You're going to get a shout out in the next video, the final video. You're going to be put onto the YouTube plaque and you'll be, of course, entered for the giveaway, which is amazing. And then I mentioned it actually supports the channel like significantly. So I appreciate you guys a lot. But yeah, without further ado, guys, that is going to have to conclude the video. So I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.